Hey guys, back with another video on the wild edible plants. Uh, it's on the same trail. Sorry if they're not the best, but it is what it is. Uh, here's some. Um, here's another one. This one is uh, wild lettuce. I already broke the top off of it, but uh, these leaves you would you really want to boil the leaves. Um, I would watch out too if you're going to pick these leaves. There's a, like a sap in there, as you can see. It's wild lettuce. It's light little edginess on the sides. Uh, this camera sucks and when I upload it it looks worse so it's really even hard to see anything so sorry about that uh, let's see yeah it's like hollow inside you can see sappy um, these leaves aren't don't taste the best you need to I would boil all any of them you eat old or young depending unless they're real small make sure you watch out for uh, poison ivy and all that crap around there i wouldn't there's a poison ivy right there uh yeah here's here's a younger plant here you know there's the leaves that come off easier are the best ones you know easy leaves to chew up they're not that bad but um i think you can eat the stock you have to look that one up you can go to like eattheweeds.com and check them out on there, look up wild lettuce, um, so thistle, bull thistle, all these other ones that are kind of like this plant. Um, there's a bunch of them, you know. Once you once you actually identify them, you can see there's man, there's tons of these things everywhere. They get like different flowers on them, I believe, or something when they get older. But I used to see them at this stage. I'm pretty confident that that's what they are. So, and I've eaten them before, no issues or whatever. <laughs> Supposedly the sap is supposed to be uh, good for aches and stuff like that too I don't know personally I don't think it does anything but you know who knows might help somebody I, I have no idea